the government, I think, had a very clear idea that it wanted to uh, build this dam and would take the minimum necessary steps uh, to clear the way for that to happen. To that effect, they gave the environmental assessment uh, panel a very restrictive set of guidelines. Uh, they said, among other things, uh, that uh, we were not to uh, opine on whether or not there are treaty rights infringements. We were just to simply list what the First Nations had to say. <laughs> We were, not to, uh, we were not allowed to count the Columbia River entitlement as part of BC's assured supply, thus making the supply-demand balance tilt rather dramatically. Uh, we uh, had to accept every uh, jot and tittle of what's in Mr. Campbell's Clean Energy Act of 2010, which is, a, in one sense, a rather high-minded, uh, you know, renewable-oriented kind of piece of legislation. But in the other is, uh, let's say, financially irrational. Um, uh, that uh, John's comment about uh, the system optimizer, I think, was kind of interesting because you know, no matter what numbers you put into the optimizer, it came out sight C. Um, and some of those restrictions were embodied in the Clean Energy Act of 2010. Um, uh, there were restrictions uh, on time in getting it done. We had a grand total of eight months. We were allowed uh, a month of public hearings. We thought of asking whether they meant a calendar month or 30 days, and then we thought, no, we're not going to ask. We'll just use 30. Uh, we did it in the end because we allowed for some snow days and had a mild winter. But uh, uh, we, we had uh, uh, practical difficulties in getting uh, expert help for the panel even though this was promised in terms of reference. For example, uh, to go to uh, the, the economics again, we decided that we, we as a panel decided we wanted to have a, uh, an expert on utility economics and uh, who could guide us at least to the right questions and maybe some of the right conclusions on this. And they said, well, what do you need that for? You got BC Hydro. <laughs> well, no, we'd like someone who is independent. Well, uh, all right, then you have to write down uh, exactly everything you want to know from this person. You have to translate it into French. You have to put it up on Merck's. You have to advertise it uh, nationally and if you insist internationally, but nationally. You have to choose the cheapest compliant bidder. All right. Well, that would have taken longer than eight months. So it became a practical impossibility. We had quite a fight to get an independent council for the panel. Uh, uh, British Columbia said, well, we, we have Buggins here from the Ministry of the Attorney General. You can use him. No. Uh, we then uh, found a couple of very fine individuals, engaged one, and things went along fine. But that took probably a, a week of the chairman's time early on when we were trying to plow our way through 24,000 pages of environmental impact statement from BC Hydro. So it was, it was, a, it was a stressful time. And uh, uh, the idea that, that one could attain perfection in the final report under those circumstances is, is generous of you, sir.